warning, the footage you're about to watch is of a sensitive nature, and although it may not be suitable for all viewers, it is for the glory of God. Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. At the Synagogue Church of All Nations, this gentleman carries a small boy in his arms due to the severity of his problem. He cannot walk or even stand on his own because of the excruciating pain of the hot water burns he sustained in a terrible accident. The hot water burns scorched from the top of his thigh all the way down his leg. He is not able to wear his trousers as any contact with the burns would cause extreme pain and discomfort for this young boy. The boy's skin glistens with pus and blood and looks raw and incredibly painful. A burn of this degree would defy any medical solution. They have come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations believing that Jesus Christ can put an end to this young boy's suffering. Please tell us your name, your age, and your address. My name is Mudashi Rutairu. The boy sitting on my lap is uh, the son of my brother. What's his name and his age? His name is uh, Mr. Jelili Tairu, and 12 years old age. All right, can you tell us the problem that brought this little boy to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today? The problem brought us here is uh, hot burning waters. I mean, he's having hot water burns. Yes, this problem started. He cannot walk, he cannot eat, pain, uh, agony, everything. That is what we are facing since then to this time. Okay, can you tell us who has been assisting him to go about doing all these things? His mother and mine. Okay, his mother and you? Oh, yes. Okay, can you tell us where and where you have taken him to for solution before coming to the synagogue? We have brought him to hospital. The doctor tried his all effort, no improvement. The doctor himself told me about the synagogue that after he have tried his all effort and all over, he told me about the synagogue to bring the boy to the synagogue so that I will come and have healing. You mean the doctor had been treating this boy, directed you to the synagogue church of all nations, so that this boy could be set free through God's intervention? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, what's your belief in God today? I believe in God that Jesus Christ will set us free today. I pray with you that God Almighty will set this brother free from this problem of hot water burns today in Jesus' name. Amen. This traumatizing experience is too much for 12-year-old Master Jalili Tyru. A young boy should not have to suffer this kind of torment and affliction. But despite the unbearable pain, he waits in faith, believing that by Jesus' stripes, his healing has been paid for and provided freely. <laughs> This is Master Jalili Tairu, hardly able to sit on his uncle's lap at the Synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line because of the sensitivity of the terrible wound caused by the hot water burns. Prophet TB Joshua stretches forth his hand in the name of Jesus Christ to declare peace, comfort, and freedom to this young boy's body, soul, and spirit. As visitors from all over the world watch on amazed at the horrendous suffering that this boy has gone through, the man of God continues to be used as a channel of healing in the young boy's life. Declared free, the young boy is able to rise to his feet and walk all by himself. Thirteen years later, Mr. Jalili Tairu came back to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to testify to the healing power in the name of Jesus Christ. To God be the glory! On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see Jalili Tyru's leg has been miraculously healed from the hot water burns he had suffered from when he was a small boy. On the left is a reminder of the terrible wound that once covered this young man's leg. A wound of this severity goes beyond medical science and doctors. What was impossible for man was possible for God. Indeed, Jesus Christ is the master healer. When Jesus Christ heals, he heals completely. He heals effectually. The skin on Mr. Jalili Tyru's leg has been completely restored back to the original position in which God had created it. Please tell us your name and where you're from. 
My name is Tyro Jalil. Oh, since the prayer of the man of God, I've been healed, and then I'm feeling good on my laps. I feel no more pains. Everything is now gone. I, I really thank God. I appreciate Jehovah God. Hallelujah. So can we see you tap the area? As you're tapping it and rubbing it now, are you feeling any pain? No, I'm not feeling any pain. Can you wear trousers and do all the things you normally do before now? Well, before when I had the bones on my laps, I cannot, I cannot wear jeans, trousers, even short knickers. I hardly wear trousers. The only thing I wear was pants and boxers. But now, after the prayer of the man of God, what can you do? Well, after the prayer of the man of God, I feel very strong. I can lo I wear my trousers very well, as in I feel no pain in my laps any longer. And I'm feeling very well now. Okay, can you wear your trousers now? Let's see you. So tell us, sir, are you feeling any pain or discomfort as you're dressing up now? No, I feel no pain. So I'm, very, I'm feeling fine now. Very good. Glory be to God and we can see you here. Now once again, can you tap that area and show us that you're not feeling any pain there? <laughs> Mr. Jewelry Tyree's leg has been completely restored and is completely free from the hot water burns. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me and saving my life. So right now, uh, brother, can you tell us your name and your testimony? Yeah, my name is Tyre Jalil. I'm here to share the goodness of God in my life. Yeah, the problem that brought me here to the synagogue church of a whole nation was the fire hot water bones. It came a day when my, my mother was boiling some water in the kitchen. So she sent me to the kitchen to go and check if the water is boiled. After getting to the kitchen, on checking the water, I discovered the, what, the what, pot of water filled and poured on my laps down to my foot. So I screamed. So my mother heard my voice and rushed down to the kitchen. After rushing down to the kitchen, she found me lying on the floor crying and mourning. So she called some neighbors. They tried to help her carry me and take me to the hospital. For several months, I've been receiving treatment. There was no change. So my uncle heard I was sick. He came around, he never knew I was sick. He came around and he was told I was sick. So he has to come and check on me. So on getting to my, to my place where I live with my mom, he discovered that I was very sick and very ill, I was on bed. So he told my mom about the church, the synagogue church of all nations. So my mother accepted him and they had to bring me here. So after bringing me to the church of all nations, the synagogue, they took me to the emergency gate, and that is where I received my healing. As soon as the man of God prayed for me, I began to feel some kind of cold sensation in me. What I was not able to do before, I was beginning to do it. For several months I have been home, I cannot walk on my own, I can't take, I can't take bath on my own, I can't do anything on my own because the pain was just too much. On that faithful day I was able to walk, I was so surprised because as soon as the man of God finished praying for me, I began to walk. It was surprising to me. I appreciate God for, for what he has done in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you. How long have you received this healing now? Yeah, I've received this healing now for over 13 years. And now, how are you feeling right now? Well, I'm feeling strong, as you can see me. Um, there's no pain again. I feel no pain on my laps so again. I'm very good. You can tap now. the leg right now. Yes, I can the, tap it. The place where you, the problem was then. Yes, yes. I feel no pain now. Can I'm you okay. wear trouser like this then? Before I was not able to wear trouser. I can't do anything. I only wear pants. Even the pants so hard for me to wear. But now I'm free. I can wear trouser. I can wear any type of thing I wish to wear. I'm okay. I'm strong. So. Can you show yourself around to the people waiting in faith for God's attention? 
Mesdames et Messieurs, nous venons d'écouter le témoignage de ce jeune homme qui alors était un enfant et qui était arrivé à la synagogue église de toutes les nations pour une brûlure, une brûlure au troisième degré à cause de l'eau chaude qui s'était renversée sur lui. Il avait des difficultés à marcher ou carrément il n'arrivait même pas à bien marcher et c'était son oncle qui l'avait transporté et qui l'avait amené ici. On l'avait amené dans des hôpitaux mais il n'y avait pas d'amélioration et c'était même le médecin qui leur avait conseillé de l'emmener à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Il y a 13 ans de cela qu'ils étaient venus ici et immédiatement que l'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui, il a commencé par marcher. Aujourd'hui, nous pouvons le voir devant nous. Ça fait, de, ça fait 13 ans maintenant, mais ce jeune homme, il est en pleine santé, il est en pleine forme. Il est revenu ici pour rendre gloire à Dieu et dire merci pour tout ce que Dieu a accompli dans sa vie. Gloria a Dios, acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de este joven que fue traído hace 13 años por sus padres debido a quemadura de agua caliente en primer grado. Podemos ver en las escenas en cómo él fue traído por uno de sus tíos, el que quemadura en su pierna. Pero dice que después de la oración del hombre de Dios, el profeta Tipi Joshua sintió un alivio y pudo caminar para la gloria de Dios en el nombre de Jesucristo. Y podemos verlo hoy caminando en la luz de su testimonio después de 13 años de haber recibido su sanidad en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. No se despegue aquí, no te libiente con I'd like to tell you that you, should, that you should have faith in God, that there's nothing God cannot do. You can see what God has done for me in my life. Before, I was taught in the hospital that I, my, my leg would have been stiff, as in I would have been walking so straight like this. Maybe I would have been walking like this. You understand? But now, Pastor T.B. Joshua prayed for me. God used him to pray for me, and by him praying for me, I get my healings. Now, you can see my leg is straight again. I can walk very well. I feel as if I do not even have any pains on my leg before it, as if there was no total bonds. She understand? So you should have faith in God that there's nothing God cannot do. And as soon as God, demand, God used Pastor Tip Joshua to pray for you, don't go into sin again. Have faith in God. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let's give a round of applause for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And right now, we are encouraging you to walk in the light of your testimony by staying more closer to Jesus because he has healed you to follow him, not to stay where you are. So we pray with you that God Almighty will continue to uphold you to press on in his way and in his truth in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.